I'm Mark Hutton, University of Maine Cooperative Extension Vegetable Specialist. And today we're going to be talking about bush plants versus vining tomato plants. Bush plants grow low to the ground, have multiple stems, and typically the branch is going to end in some sort of in a flower cluster. These types of plants typically don't need support. We can grow them flat on the ground or on black plastic mulch as we have here. Uh, types of plants we normally see as bush tomato plants would be uh, paste tomatoes uh, or canners, canning tomatoes. You can see some here, they're just starting. We've got a few that are just starting to ripen. These plants will do perfectly well growing on the ground. We typically don't need to give them any type of support or grow them on a trellis or grow them on a stake. Um, if you do want to uh, maybe get a little bit better yield, a little bit higher quality, we can go to something like a basket weave system to hold them up off the ground. Uh, we'll get a little bit higher quality fruit uh, if that's something that you're interested in. But generally the bush plants, as you can see here, uh, aren't going to require any type of support. And what we're looking at here are indeterminate tomato plants. You can see these get fairly large, um, viney type plant growth habit. And these plants, although we have them on black plastic without any support, are going to benefit from having um, being staked or trellised or basket weaved, something to get them up off the ground. The plants are just going to be too large, too vigorous, and too vegetative to give us a lot of fruit. Typically, the types of plants that we see that are indeterminate tomato plants are our beef steaks, many of our heirloom tomato varieties are indeterminate, and many of the cherry tomatoes are indeterminate plants. And, and these all will benefit from having some sort of support, getting the plant up off the ground, and a little bit of pruning just to focus that energy into fruit development.